Welcome to Wiggle Sticks TV. So here we've got the swing arm, um, which we're going to clean. So we just need to take off the chain guard and the chain catcher here. Should be fine. So you'll pretty much just soda blast this. Um, bearings actually don't feel too bad in there. So we started to pull uh, the swing arm axle, pivot axle part out. Um, and this side, this bearings seem okay on this side, but this one, the spacer or the whatever that, the shim kind of bushing thing on there has got a few marks on it from the bearing. So um, yeah, we'll just pull it out and see, see what it looks like. See, but it's a bit of a you, know, you can see it in there, a bit of a mark from the bearing. So, have a look, have a closer look. Just back on, so remember which way it goes. This is the one from the other side. Definitely need a new one of those. So on further inspection, since we're getting the bearings done at the same time, I'm going to get this little rocker, uh, start to clean that up as well because the bearings inside, they're uh, not in the best shape. Um, yeah, but so you may as well clean this up along with uh, the ones in here as well. So it makes sense to do them all at the same time. Uh, so we'll get under soda blasting those uh, shortly. Yeah, you can see in that, in this one here. It's all like super rusty and crusty. Even in the middle one there too. You can pick it up on camera, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty rusty. So we'll replace them all. So tonight I've uh, just been continuing working on trying to clean out this uh, suspension linkage. Um, I was going to hit it with the soda blaster, but I uh, thought I'd just try it with a bit of um, uh, sandpaper uh, just to see how it would come up. And it's actually not coming up too badly. Um, nice little polish and sheen on it. Cleaned out most of the bearings. I think they're, they're looking a lot better. There's probably just one that I need to replace. So. Um... <laughs> really you're never going to see this anyway so um just peace of mind i guess i'll get in here with the um with the dremel and clean out those little grooves where i can't get to with the paper the pad so i didn't film this bit just because it was a bit hard to actually dremel and film at the same time but you can kind of see just with the uh soft kind of brass brush and then a little bit with this nylon brush on the end of the dremel that really cleaned up and actually polished the inside of those little bits um 
anyway, they look much nicer. So I will probably polish this up a little bit more, but at least they're nice and clean in here now. No guy grime in there and um, yeah, a little added detail, I guess, to the to the project, but uh, probably just made more work for myself again. <laughs> anyway, it's the swing arm, uh, the chain guide mounting thing off the swing arm. So just seeing how that mounts back together. So we're going to try deoxy rust remover, um, see how it goes. So I'm just going to put a few parts, get a few parts ready to go in. Uh, swing arm linkages. So you can see, I'm not cleaning these at all yet, we're just putting them straight in. See how they clean up. Pretty cruddy. All the bolts and stuff out of the swing arm. It's a swing arm linkage. And I'm also going to put the uh, the bolts out of the rear swing arm pivot in there as well. Just to see how they come up. So, just... Let's try and measure it out roughly. It's supposed to be one part to the 20 part, but... Say one and a half caps. Yeah, we'll uh, close it up and uh, leave it for half an hour or so and see how it looks and then hopefully it's all the stuff to come up there. You can actually kind of see the bubbles starting to react with, uh, with the metal as we speak, so yeah, let's see what happens. So I thought we might see what it's uh, what the progress is like after about uh, probably half an hour. Um, you can see how the bubbles kind of doing its thing, slowly changing color. Uh, it does smell quite different than when it went in there. Um, and there is quite a lot of debris and stuff floating around in the water. Um, so back in the next day, um, pop these up and see, uh, see what we're looking at. We should get some gloves. in this one over here so cleaned up nicely rear axle in there too um, probably all the put the axle in second but we'll put all the parts all the bolts and spaces and everything in uh, in first so this is the before Another day of uh, degreasing, de-rustifying bolts. Um, swing arm, 
of it, uh, so rear axle spaces and whatnot. Uh, they'll come up pretty good, just going by that. And the condition of the water too. So we've got a shock back together. Um, this is only a temporary solution, but at least all the parts are clean and it's back together. Um, so when we get the new swing arm, we can uh, put everything back together. Um, it's all cleaned and everything. Aftermarket shock with a little spacer. Uh, spacer down the bottom, so it sort of feels alright, but we'll see what it's like when it's on the bike. Um, put the linkage part back together, these bits go back together, and then uh, spare shock parts over there and then the axle is cleaned up pretty nicely all these spaces and everything look pretty good uh, and we'll just give the axle a bit of a uh, sorry about my phone yeah so we've got the um, the rear axle and everything's cleaned up pretty nicely um, bit of extra degrees that was needed to get all the chain excess chain lube off this part but the DOXC cleaned up all the rest of them um, linkage will probably give that a bit more of a polish today just because we can and then the rear axle will clean up the end of that part as well um, and then it's ready to uh, go back into the swing arm and then the last part is to try to figure out where these actual bolts all go back onto the subframe and the mainframe so that'll be the task uh, after lunch so front axle is pretty much all oh, sorry rear axle so we got the rear axle here all cleaned up put that away for a uh, Rainy day until we start getting the swing arm and rear wheeling. 